Hello everyone. In this video we will see if you could bring back one pair of extinct animals, which one would you choose? This video is brought to you by the question response channel. The channel where you will find the answer to everything. Thanks to Alexander Archer, Henry Bradley, Ben Phelps and Matthew Graham for sharing their answers with us. We'll start with Alexander Archer's first answer. I'd bring back the thylacine. In the 1930s, they were wrongfully hunted to the brink of extinction by early European settlers in Tasmania because they thought the creature was killing their livestock when it's actually feral dogs killing the livestock. The last known specimen died at the Bomaris Zoo on September 7, 1936. I would love to see this animal be cloned because the animals they preyed on, kangaroos and wallabies, are still alive and I consider it the most recent animal that went extinct, which was 80 years ago. We often think of an animal's extinction as something that happened in prehistory. We continue with Henry Bradley's answer. The Irish elk. Without a doubt, I've wasted time wondering about this before and I would definitely choose this majestic giant. I remember legit calling bullshit when I first seen a set of 3.5 meters antlers that belonged to an Irish elk. Too massive, not possible to lift its head or move around, it's ridiculous and clearly a fake, I said. Look at it, the mighty giant that roamed the rolling hills of Ireland, the highlands of Scotland and right across northern Europe. An animal so massive, with antlers so humongous and neck muscles so monstrous, it made mighty stags look like pygmy deer. Seriously, Irish elk made some dinosaurs look small, it's fracking unreal. There be giants. Can you imagine two of these beasts clashing on misty moors, battling with four meters antlers? The sound of giant elk clashing would echo across the land, the surreal mating calls like foghorns, echoing in the wild places. Seeing these giants roaming their ancestral lands, would be joyous. Similar to my first experience, when I realized real giants roamed the hills of my ancestors. It towered above me, left me feeling sheer awe and disbelief. The next answer is from Ben Phelps. The dodo bird. Okay, yeah, it isn't the biggest or best, but look how chubby it is. Honestly, there was no reason for them to go extinct, so I would bring them back, and as I just brought an extinct species back to life, and found a live dodo bird, the scientists would give me as loads of money to study me and the bird. I would also donate the original two, male and female, to the Oregon Zoo, because it's near where I live and they need some cooler animals than just elephants. The next answer is from Matthew Graham. Oh, I love this question. Great one, op. Ever since I was a young kid I have loved reptiles. I watched Steve Irwin on the TV all the time and wanted so badly to be like him when I grew up. I live on a small farm back home so like Steve, I too love animals and are quite comfortable around them. Here's a picture of some of the miniature donkeys we have. Now while it is true that back in the Queen City we don't have some of the world's most dangerous snakes and other critters roaming about, but my favorite exhibit at both the St. Louis Zoo and Cincinnati Zoo has always been the crocodile and or the alligator exhibit. Just look at this. Looking at this produces a sense of awe and massive respect for nature. This crocodile is close to 20 feet and could easily decide if he's hungry and you're around, that you'd make a nice, tasty morsel. These beasts fascinate me because they are virtually millions of years old and relatively unevolved because they have always been an apex predator who can thrive in their environment. Due to humans it is rare they get this big but these creatures are basically living relics of a time when dinosaurs roamed the planet. This being said, what extinct creature would I bring back? I'd bring back its more ancient and bigger cousin, the Sarcosicus, aka, Supercroc. This beast could grow up to 40 feet long and weigh between 8 to 10 tons. It had about a 6 foot jaw and would be at about the height of a 6 foot man. See here, it was a saltwater creature so it would be in a lot of the major big rivers like the Nile, Amazon, and parts of the Mississippi leading into Mississippi Delta. God how I wish these animals were still around, but knowing humans, we would have hunted them to death anyways because they would definitely be dangerous around human settlements. I sure wouldn't want to come across one in the wild. They might as well be the grim reaper of nature. I must say it was a close call. I also am fascinated by the megalodon. Even though this following image isn't real, it is close to what the actual shark would be like in person in terms of size. I hope you guys enjoyed reading this. Take care. Cheers. This is the end of the video. I hope you have more answers. I hope the video has you more. If so you can subscribe and activate the bell to miss any video. Also remember to leave a like. We are coming to the end of this video. Share your views on this question in the comments. See you next time.